Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity here. And uh, today I would like to introduce my business, Zoom. Uh, so Zoom is a peer-to-peer -peer couple matching platform for daily commuters and uh, employees. Uh, my name is Steven Zhu, and I'm the founder of this company. Uh, first, why I quitted Zoom? So work market issue I want to solve here. So we all know that a couple is not new. Couple can save money, save time, make our commute life more enjoyable. But the question is why not people are coupling today? Because it's always hard to organize among friends and colleagues. And second, there's no convenient service available in the market for commuters to couple with each other. And if we look at the market, there are 137 million commuters every day in US with average cost 2,600 per year. And among them, 10% of them are willing to couple or try to couple before, according to the national survey. And if you look at Charlotte area, we have 1 million commuters every day. So in order to provide a couple as a future option for commute, I started to build up the team last year. Before moving to Charlotte, I worked in Ford Motor Company for their pioneer global car sharing and ride sharing projects. So I have experience on this. And my team has Aaron as our technical leader and Brand Bates, our business development director. We also have a board of advisors from Innovate Charlotte who offer their mentorship and their experience. So once I have the team, I started to build the app. So the, now the app is already available in both iOS and Android store. It's called Zoom Carpool. It's very convenient to use and free to download. All people need to do is just in the app put their commute schedules and we will do the rest. We help them matching, scheduling the trip, and make payments between riders and drivers. And if you look at the top right chart, uh, that's uh, user registration and uh, trip orders we received every month. From the orange bar, you can see that uh, we have steady user growth. And uh, the blue bar shows that we have uh, the, the trip orders we received is increasing dramatically. And the purple line is the matched orders we have accomplished. It increased exponentially with the trip orders we received. And the bottom line shows the mile key milestones we have accomplished. Until now, we already have over 1,000 users in our app. And I believe in the future, if we can, we can attract more users in Charlotte area and uh, let everybody know us, I believe Carpool can be a real option and popular in our commute life. Next, I want to introduce our business model. So Zoom, we play like a cloud or platform service to match riders' requests and drivers' requests. Riders will pay the trip fee in our app. The average price is $6 for one week commute. And we will charge 50% of it as our service fee. And the rest will go directly into driver's account. And it's worth to mention that both riders and drivers in our app uh, they just couple their usual commute way. So we went as a driver to pick up somebody out of their commute way, like taxi driver or Uber drivers. Also, we provide the service for uh, company use, for enterprise. By subscribing with Zone, we provide a service platform, subsidize the employee pricing, and monthly report to help the company save money and help them to achieve their sustainable goals. Although we are the first in Charlotte area or even in South area to provide this convenient service, but we have competitors in other regions or providing similar uh, products. Rider Amigos is a commuter management platform for companies and uh, uh, communities. And Zim Ride provides a couple matching service uh, based on web page for enterprise. And Scoop with Couple and us, we provide the uh, couple matching service based on mobile app, which is more convenient. And among them, we have the more advanced algorithm which support uh, more uh, dynamic matching and door-to-door -door pickup. So we have the product and we have the market. And I have experience running these kind of uh, projects. So the next step is we want to raise some seed fund to uh, jumpstart the market. And we will spend the money in uh, marketing, technology, operation. We want to hire uh, more, self, uh, more talent self or uh, software developers to uh, upgrade our product, add more features. And also we need marketing professionals to do some business development and growth our market. 
We also need online and offline marketing campaigns like billboards, website advertisement to let everybody know us. So that's in the short term goal, I want to build up the business successfully in Charlotte area. But for the long term, we want to expand the business to other cities and uh, even nationwide in the future. <coughs> Thank you for listening today. Thank you for your attention. This is Zoom. Steven, nice, nice work. Um, whenever I do this panel, I, I feel like I, I always uh, chastise the people for not using their time correctly and hitting the kind of the major things. And I'm not going to do that with you because you did a great job. Like, Thank you. excellent use of five minutes. Um, particularly, I love that you, you described quickly what your idea was. Um, you said why you, you know, you put, you know, you up there, and and then you you described uh, your business model. Not too much detail for five minutes, and then you said what you wanted and what you were going to do with it. So I applaud you for that, definitely. Um, one thing that maybe um, you 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 were very good. You were like, we want this much money, and these are the sort of the bullet points of what we want it for. Maybe just another bullet point of like with some numbers, you know, like we're gonna have this many users. If we raise this money, we're gonna have this many users or, or matched rides or whatever you use for, you know, sort of a, a hardcore metric. Um, the one other point that I would make, I love that you put up competitors and then you, you started to touch on, and I realize you don't have all day, but you started to touch on why you're different. Um, what I heard was, Mat better matching algorithm, um, which is a really techie guy. You know, you know, I'm like, mm, okay. You know, so your your algorithm's better than Waze. Mm, okay, um, and uh, you know, when I see big scary companies like that, I would want something else. And I think uh, the fact that you brought up, you were like, we want to sort of dominate Charlotte. I, I love that. I, I love that. You know, you're not going to go out and try to boil the ocean. You know, you're going to let, let's win Charlotte. And, and so, it, good job, though. Really good job. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Stephen, nice job. Um, so, a couple things follow on to Garth. Uh, I have like a list of 10 things that I like to see in a pitch. It's impossible to get all 10 of those in five minutes, but I think you hit on six or seven. So, really nice job with that. So my favorite slide, although it's a bit of an eye chart, is the traction slide. Can you go back to that? Um, keep going. Yeah, that slide. So on this slide, you explained it pretty quick. But what I would like to see here is where are you today? How many rides are you doing? I think it's in there. But as I said, it's a bit of an eye chart to see it. So where are you exactly? How many rides are you doing? How many uh, clients? And then what I'd like to understand is the breakdown of B2B versus B2C. So can you talk about that real quick? Yeah, sure. Uh, for the, our current attraction, so as I mentioned, uh, we have over 1,000 users. But they are for the online Google search because we didn't do any paid marketing campaigns. So among them, I think uh, all, uh, like 60% uh, 600 uh, users are in Charlotte area. And we have the riders and the drivers, I think we have like two to one uh, for the ratio. And uh, uh, last month, for example, we received uh, two. Uh, over 2,000 uh, trip orders from them, uh, mostly from Charlotte, Charlotte users. So we just uh, use our app and request the trip orders. Mm -hmm. uh, but among them, we matched like 40. So the matching rate is not, not good now because we don't have uh, very uh, intense user density yet. So although we have like uh, 600 users, but they can be anywhere. As I mentioned, we wouldn't ask the drivers to drive all the way to pick up somebody uh, else. And in regard to the B2C and the B2B, I think in my vision is uh, we want to do both, both of them. Because B2C can help us uh, get the user base uh, easier and so that we can get this, uh, this, this algorithm, this product running well. But for B2B, we also need that because in the future, my long-term long, long goal is to get a B2B users more. Because B2B users for partner with the employers, we can provide more uh, attractive pricing because employers they are more likely to subsidize uh, this uh, this pricing to their employees for this green commute strategy, and also 
B2C market is, uh, is very competitive. As you mentioned, with couple is there. We, uh, it's very competitive and users, they are very price uh, uh, sensitive to the pricing. So in, in, the, in our goal, I think, uh, and now we, we do B2C, but in the future, we really want to do is a combination of B2C and B2B. So I, I guess, so how many rides did you do in August? Uh, rides? Rides. Uh, right. Yeah, yes. we, we have down um, 40. Okay. Yeah. And then you don't have any businesses signed up yet, but it's part of your strategy. Do I have that right? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, again, on this, I, you know, just the high level stats would be great. How many rides you did? Um, the other thing here is that it, this is a customer acquisition play also. So I'd love to know your customer acquisition strategy and more importantly, what's your customer acquisition cost right now? So it sounds like you're making six dollars per user per ride what does it cost to to find that individual and complete a ride uh well i think the now the cost of uh cost uh, so for marketing we as i mentioned we only do the google search and google seo so uh, our current marketing we just uh, like uh, i think paid 600 per month for google advertisement and we get about 50 users per month so on average i think it's ten dollars to get one user Okay. You know, now. Okay. Yeah. yeah um, SAS metrics would be great to see because that's uh, that's part of the play here. Um, that's all I have now. Do you have any more? Uh, you want to open it up to the audience? Yeah, Steve. I think you could show that chart if you just have a third bar graph because I, I was going to ask you what this number is on the right hand side at zero forty. If you just had you know, rides actually matched. You know, mm -hmm. set that Yeah, good suggestion, yes. Um, I, mean, I apologize if, if you mentioned it in there, but as far as the drivers, are the drivers similar to Uber, or are they people who are actually carpooling carpool into those locations as well, who are picking up other people? Uh, good question. So we are different from Uber, because Uber actually, uh, their business model is based on taxi driver, professional drivers. But the drivers in our platform, they are really employees, like us, like you. So they are working working in the same direction with the riders. And uh, by doing that, so our business model is uh, like, uh, and by doing that, our pricing is uh, much lower than Uber because Uber, they make money from that. This is their full-time job, but for us, drivers, just, uh, they just uh, uh, get a reimbursement for their commute. It's just $6 per trip. So that's the main difference, I think. I think you said that uh, people have to manually load it in their schedules and that's how you manage them. And I guess my resistance to that as a consumer would be that I think people don't always do what they say. And the last thing I want during rush hour is to sit in somebody else's driveway. Have you thought about doing it more like a Nest thermostat where you see how people actually behave and then pair people who seem to be a good match? Yeah, that's another fantastic question. So that's why I mentioned our algorithm is actually better. Uh, for this, because, <laughs> because I consider this situation. So for with couple or other things, for riders and drivers, they need to submit a request from the driver, and they need to wait their confirmation from the driver. Okay, I agree to this trip. So if they have changes, any changes, and they cannot, they just cancel it. And uh, if driver didn't respond or didn't respond in the limited time, the driver will give up. So our algorithm, we will automatically match them together, and we because we match. Uh, like school, school as I mentioned, they are matching algorithm. They, they just did twice, twice matching a day, which is uh, 9 p.m. for the morning trip and 3 p.m. for the afternoon trip. If you miss that, you are in the meeting or you are in something else, you, you forgot to confirm that you missed that. But we actually provide a matching every one hour. So users can get, get the results in advance, several hours in advance or maybe several days in advance. And the users can free cancel the trip one hour until the last minute. So it's more flexible and more convenient for users. And that's, that's our advantage. Let's just do a second. Go back to your market sizing slide. How did you derive kind of this, the Sam Tam song? Okay, uh, the potential carpoolers, as I mentioned, 10% of the total uh, 
total commuters, they are willing to couple or did couple before. It's from the national survey, it's called American Community Survey. It asks a question that have you did couple in the previous several weeks, and 10% of people answered yes. See you.